welcome back to another video feature of the Immersive Worlds Handbook. Today I am in Las Vegas, as you can tell, at the uh, Luxor uh, Resort and Casino. And I want to talk uh, more about this uh, issue that's been interesting uh, for me for quite a few years, and this is the de-theming of certain casinos. Um, I had a chance recently to read um, an interesting story from the Las Vegas Review back from 2007 when um, MGM was just about uh, ready to uh, purchase this property and to convert it. And the article, uh, the then uh, CEO of uh, MGM was talking about how uh, he envisioned the Luxor not as uh, the British Museum, uh, but as a resort casino that happened to be uh, pyramid shaped. And so in this feature, I want to talk just a bit about this issue and exactly how de-theming occurs and what um, have been the consequences here at the Luxor. So let me take you around. And, and take a look. Okay, so let me bring it back to those articles I mentioned. And if you Google de-theming of Luxor, you find numerous articles and blog posts about this topic. So it's certainly not something that um, it hasn't been considered in a lot of the popular press. Here's the actual article that intrigued me from the Las Vegas Sun. Uh, and as you can see, the title of the article is, is very telling. What happened to the theme in Vegas's theme resorts? And I think the Luxor jumps out at us because obviously you can't change uh, the theme in terms of the pyramid shape. Here's the quote by then uh, Luxor President uh, Felix Rappaport. We're not a British museum with ancient artifacts. We're a casino resort. And suggesting this was a brilliantly conceived building from the outside, the pyramid creates a sense of wow and wonder, but the inside never delivered on that promise. This, I think, is really intriguing in a sense, the COO admitting to, if you will, a mistake. Now, the curious thing is, here are some um, images from 2015 during my visit, and it's important to give you the time here because we're jumping back and forth between different time periods, not unlike what we see in the Luxor itself. So we can contrast that with um, images like this, which is this um, bar and motorcycle next to it, liquidity. And some have suggested that maybe liquidity has become a theme on the interior of the casino. I don't really think that's the case necessarily, but represents a rather dramatic shift. This is back uh, 2015 present day, just coming down the um, escalator here. And I'll spend some time looking at this lobby area. I think the lobby, as you, as you probably witnessed in my other video features, says a lot about a hotel themed casino. So just uh, coming off that escalator, we then see the Chris Angel um, sculpture here standing on top of the pyramid. And of course, Chris Angel has been emphasized throughout the property with his important show, as you can see also on the exterior, where you get this interesting combination then of the old and the new in terms of Chris Angel and the traditional Luxor theming. Again, this is a shot present day 2015. You see kind of a jumbling of different themes. Uh, now I want to show you just this video and let's listen to some of the sound here to get a sense of whether or not you feel immersed in an Egyptian theme. a chance maybe to listen and to see some of the video there. Again, this is going back to some of the Egyptian theming that still is present. Um, in the area, um, the shop area where there used to be a King Tut exhibit that is now gone, they've still kept some of the theming. And in my mind, this is great. I, I was never a fan of de-theming the Luxor, but I think along with the Excalibur, along with Treasure Island, there was perhaps a feeling that the theme no longer resonated with um, the guest. So um, we'll take a look around here. This was that mall area I was mentioning, and I believe there are some um, convention rooms to the left. And I was trying to seek out during my visit to the Luxor um, what theming remained. And in this area, it was very, very predominant. And so my curiosity was, well, what was the reason for that and perhaps um, 
would this be changed eventually too? Because again, it suggests maybe inconsistency between other areas of the hotel. Now this was um, outside of um, the escalator that leads to the Excalibur and you could see, perhaps you could see there, there was that um, wonderful world that MGM Resorts um, has. This was an interesting display that I'll talk about in another video, but clear Egyptian theming as you can see in this area. And then going back to that escalator or the people move rather, you could see that clearly on the columns were you to change all that, that would involve quite a bit of renovation. And so perhaps that's one reason to not alter some of the theming. Um, but then you see with the Chris Angel store within the Egyptian theme, I mean, it suggests something quite in contrast. Uh, likewise, outside, you see the same thing with the uh, contrast between the traditional Egyptian theming of the Luxor and the Chris Angel exhibit. And as we jump back to this very iconic reminder of what once was the Egyptian theme, and to some extent continues to be the Egyptian theme at the Luxor in Las Vegas, provides us opportunities, I believe, to have some interesting conversations and analyses in the future in terms of our studies of theming, and in this case, our study of the de-theming of the Luxor Las Vegas. So I hope you enjoyed this video feature today here at the Luxor in Las Vegas and uh, please come back for additional video features of the Immersive Worlds Handbook.